to It's Thea, and this is going to be my Reading Rush TBR. So if you don't know, the Reading Rush um, is renamed. It was formerly Booktubeathon, which was started by Errol Brissett and Raylene. I will link their channels down below as well as all of the information. Um, they've kind of rebranded it and kind of made it a little bit more inclusive in the entire bookish community. So it's now called the Reading Rush. Um, and there are still Instagram challenges, still video challenges, still reading challenges. Um, they've just kind of revamped some things. There's a whole website. Um, I'll link my profile down below. You can like create a profile and create friends and kind of see what everybody else is reading as well. And it's just a huge community event and everyone is reading all at the same time. And it's such a fun, um, such a fun experience in the book community. And it's kind of one of the biggest events that we have. Um, so I am so excited to be participating again this year. I don't think I'm going to get to the video challenges. Um, I've never actually been able to participate in the video challenges just because I've always worked an 8 to 5 Monday through Friday full time job. Um, again this year I'm back to a Monday through Friday 8 to 5 so I don't really think I'm going to be able to participate in those. I am going to definitely try to do the Instagram challenges and participate in a couple Twitter sprints. Um, I do have kind of a, just a hodgepodge of books here. I'm trying to keep things pretty casual as I don't really know what my reading plans are, you know, how much reading I'm going to be able to get done since I am um, working full time that whole week. So um, my books are kind of all over the place. I'm also participating still in the book junkie trials and I have two books left for that so I've kind of tried to incorporate that TBR into the Reading Rush TBR. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first cha challenge one is to read a book with purple on the cover. I'm going to go ahead and pick up Teen Titans Raven. There is quite a lot of purple all over the spine and on the cover. Um, this is a fairly newly released graphic novel um, following Raven and um, I'm really excited. I've heard mixed things about it, but I really enjoy Raven. Um, it is a graphic novel, so it'll be a really fast paced read and I'm trying to keep my TBR pretty light. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up for the reading a book with purple on the cover. Challenge two is to read a book in the same spot the whole time. This isn't necessarily like read it in one sitting, but you have to read this book in the same spot every time you pick it up. Um, I'm gonna double up and use Raven because this is a graphic novel, so I'll probably most likely try to read this in one sitting, um, and most likely it'll be either the bed in the guest bedroom, my bed in this bedroom, or the couch, one of those three spots. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and double up and use Teen Titans Raven to read in the same spot the entire time. Challenge three is to read a book uh, that you meant to read last year. I know for a lot of us, this could really apply to like any book. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna pick up Wonder Woman Volume 5, Heart of the Amazon. This is another graphic novel. Um, it definitely was something that was on my TBR last year because we did actually buy it last year, um, intending to read it and then just never got around to it. So um, this is just the next volume in the DC Rebirth series for the Wonder Woman. Um, it's a very good series. I really, really like it. And this is the next volume that I need to read. And so I'm going to pick this up for the readathon. Challenge four is to read an author's first book. That doesn't necessarily mean like a debut author this year, but like an author that you really like, who you've never read their first book. Um, I know a lot of people have been talking about how this is their favorite challenge. I also think this is my favorite challenge for the readathon because I've been doing a lot of like backlog reading this year. Um, and so it's kind of fun to see where authors have you know kind of grown in their writing and new books always get so hyped and then everything else kind of falls, you know, down at the bottom. So it's kind of fun to kind of bring that up again and you know be able to you know hype up some older books and so I'm going to go ahead and pick up Forever Interrupted by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I am in love with Taylor Jenkins Reid just like everybody else here on booktube. Um, I read Evelyn Hugo last year, I read Daisy Jones this year um, and so I wanted to pick up her most re her very first novel. I've heard mixed reviews. Um, I do have this as an audiobook, so I'm going to go ahead and listen to it um, throughout the week because I always like to at least have one audiobook. So I'm really, really excited to kind of see her first novel to see where she has progressed because I've, Evelyn Hugo is one of my favorite books of all time. So it'll be really fun to kind of see her where she kind of got her start. Challenge five is to read a book with a non-human main character. Um, I am again doubling up for this and picking up Wonder Woman Volume 5. 
Wonder Woman's technically not human, so this, I think, will apply to it, and um, I really want to read it, so I'm going to pick this up. A challenge six is to read a book that has five or more words in the title. This is where my book junkie trial TBR and my reading rush TBR kind of get to work together. So I'm going to pick up A Natural History of Dragons, a memoir by Lady Trent by Marie Brennan. Um, this is the next book I need to read in my mage pack for book junkie trials and it works out perfectly because you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten words. Even if you don't use like the subtitle, even just A Natural History of Dragons is five. So this definitely coincides, this definitely fits into the challenge. I am able to use this both for read use this for both readathons. Um it's not super long, it's only like three hundred and thirty pages or so. Um, I do also have this as an audiobook if needed. Um, I've been wanting to read it for quite a while and I think it's doable with two graphic novels and an audiobook. I think this is pretty doable to get to so I'm really excited to read this this week as well. And then challenge seven is to read and watch a book to movie adaptation. I again got really lucky because the um, last book for the book Darky Trials on my mage path is Stardust, which is the group book. Um, and this is a movie adaptation, so I can use this for both readathons. I am really excited. I haven't read this in so long. This is a reread for me, so I don't think it'll take super long to get through. Um, and then I can watch the movie adaptation. And this is only like 330 pages, and the font is, and the font is like pretty big, so I don't feel like it'll take very long to get through. Since this is a reread, I should be able to breeze through this. I also do have this one as an audiobook as well, if need be, so I'm really excited to give this a reread. So here is my Reading Rush TBR, minus Forever Interrupted. Um, I'm really excited. There is some backlog titles in here. There's a new release. Um, there's a couple graphic novels and an audiobook, and I think this is a very doable TBR for the week. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys are participating in the reading rush. If you are, what are you reading? As always, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe if not already. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are well. Happy reading, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.